Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose. There was a time where I was sipping lit. I was popping pills. I was doing more. Y'all, we already know that Diddy is having a tough time this year. The situation worsened when there was a raid at his house and his kids were reportedly dragged out and handcuffed. But guess what? Amidst all this, a clip has resurfaced on the internet allegedly showing Diddy and the famous rapper The Game drugging the music mogul Justin Bieber. This has shocked Justin's fans, who are now wondering what other allegations might emerge. Given the past allegations Diddy is facing, he isn't in anyone's good books now. Will Justin step forward to protect his integrity, or will he leave the fans to delve deeper into the mystery of his childhood innocence? Let's find out! The recently resurfaced clip on the internet has come as a shock to many people, leaving them wondering who else might have suffered similar experiences to Justin's. A few days ago, an ex-user, Diana Wallace, shared a video of young Justin Bieber dancing with Diddy and the game at a party where they're listening to music. In the video, Diddy is giving Bieber a bottle of alcohol. What many people speculated was that Bieber looked very young with the conclusion that Justin Bieber was under the age of 18 when this happened. Because of the allegations against Diddy from various celebrities and others, many people are questioning whether Justin Bieber might have been sexually harassed. You're just yeah. like, it's there. I yes, mean, it's yes, not just yes, there. Yes, yes. It's everywhere. My fucking news feed is dominated by it. Yes. Fox News, CNN, yeah, yeah, everyone. Yeah. There's raids at Diddy's house. Yeah, yeah. Who was the guy that was <laughs> running around with a sports bra on? People online are looking into the situation more closely and suggesting that Diddy, who was Justin's mentor, might have taken advantage of him. Numerous old videos of Justin and Diddy have been criticized as uncomfortable, creepy, and disturbing by people online. Diddy is facing accusations of school assault, trafficking, and other serious allegations. Recently, the federal agents planned a big surprise visit to Diddy's fancy homes in Los Angeles and Miami. This swift and synchronized operation resulted in the detention of Diddy's entourage members at his Miami Beach mansion, while another associate faced substance charges at Opalak Airport. While all this was happening, the music mogul himself was asked a lot of questions at the airport before he got on a plane to go to the Caribbean. But there are different stories about whether he actually went to Antigua and Barbuda or not. Some people think he avoided going there because of an agreement between the United States and those islands. These things were going on because the Department of Homeland Security was looking into Diddy's actions as part of an investigation into trafficking. I'm about to go into this next era of my life. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, positive things, you know, a lot of disruptive things. And everybody knows about everything, you know? I want a deeper connection with my fans. So I came up with this idea. I was going to get a special phone number, and I was going to be able to give it to my family, my fans, everybody that's down with the movements that I'm about, you know what I'm saying? The team love movement. They were worried that evidence might be destroyed, so they decided to raid his property in Miami Beach at the same time. In the middle of all this confusion, there were claims from a lawsuit by music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones. He said Diddy was leading a criminal group which might have been involved in a big trafficking scheme. The situation got more complicated when the lawsuit also mentioned actor Cuba Gooding Jr. as a co-defendant. Y'all, it looks like little Rodney's up around too, and you know what? I do not blame him at all. What is going on is really messed up. So little Rodney is accusing Diddy of intimidation, and he's filing an essay suit against Cuba Gooding Jr. So let's tackle Diddy first. According to the amendment of the lawsuit, Diddy hired help to go over to little Rodney's baby mama house to intimidate her and their eight-year-old daughter. Are you kidding me? Not to add insult to injury, but the same goons that went to his baby mama house went to his ex's house as well. What were you thinking? And little Rodney also claims that Diddy has been trying to back channel to contact him. When y'all know y'all not supposed to be talking in the first damn gonna play. This added even more complexity to the already dramatic story. Diddy's lawyer, Aaron Dyer, strongly criticized the raid, saying it was too aggressive. He also called the raid a witch hunt. He tweeted, Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. He pointed out that Diddy cooperated fully with the authorities and was never held against his will. Dyer hinted that there might be a big legal fight ahead, painting Diddy as someone wrongly accused. As the media attention on the raid died down, life on Star Island, where Diddy lives, went back to normal, but people still had questions and guesses about what really happened at Diddy's fancy mansions. As federal agents searched through Diddy's Miami Beach mansion, 
They found it strangely empty with no signs of life. They took away electronic devices and questioned some of Diddy's staff who were later let go. The investigation, led by prosecutors from the Southern District of New York, was supported by witness statements, including singer Cassie, who accused Diddy of sexual assault in a lawsuit that was settled soon after it was filed, adding more controversy. Meanwhile, at Opalaka Airport, Brendan Paul was arrested. It was revealed that Brendan was Diddy's mule and a key figure mentioned in Jones' lawsuit as someone connected to Diddy. Paul was arrested on drug charges, suggesting his involvement in Diddy's drug parties and other activities. Investigators found unsettling audio recordings, explicit videos, and incriminating messages involving underage individuals and other celebrities in Hollywood. They had a recording of Meek and Diddy making love. I don't know if it was love. Got okay, you have it? Let's hear it. What? Yo, wait a minute. Wait, ah! You didn't hear this? No! Now, Mir Miran, wait, yeah. what, does that sound authentic? It, it, it absolutely. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, just really give it a good listen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, I'm One prominent name that stood out among them was Justin Bieber. Speculations about Diddy's relationship with Bieber have long existed, fueled by whispers of a closer bond between them. While the recent raid sheds new light on these rumors, it's not the first time their association has raised concerns. The resurfaced clip featured Diddy and a teenage Bieber added unsettling questions about their relationship. In the video, Diddy, who was in his 40s at the time, was seen with the young pop star, which seemed a bit odd. Diddy's comments about spending 48 hours together and the mysterious things that would have taken place between them made many people wonder about their closeness. Diddy repeatedly touches Bieber's chest to check if he's wearing a wire. This happened when Usher was mentoring Bieber closely. In another clip that's resurfaced, Diddy mentions that Bieber had been in his legal custody before. He said, I have been given custody of him. He signed to Usher. I had legal guardianship of Usher when he did his first album. I don't have legal guardianship of him, Combs said of the baby singer, adding, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. We're gonna go full buck full crazy. Justin excitedly added, going crazy. Diddy mentioned having custody of Bieber for a short time, even though it was in a professional role, added fuel to the speculation. Even though Bieber's YouTube channel shared the video more than 10 years ago, it coming back now during Diddy's legal issues makes their past interactions look bad. It makes people worry about how much Diddy might have influenced Bieber when he was young and how their relationship was during Bieber's early years in the industry. So, man, you good? I'm good. How are you? All right, doing? young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Correct. Okay. Number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. My yeah, 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 yeah. However, that's not all. The rumors turned into belief when a talk from 2016 with Usher came back up since the recent searches on Sean Diddy Combs' houses. Usher, who was 45 and known for songs like "You Got It Bad." was on the Howard Stern Show in 2016. In the interview, he talked about living with Diddy for a year when he was just 13. He said, I got a chance to see some things. It was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. He continued, I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was pretty wild. When asked if he stayed up until 4 a.m. partying with Diddy and his group, the Yeah performer said he could and actually stayed up longer than them. He said it was pretty crazy. In 2004, the eight-time Grammy winner told Rolling Stone that the I'll Be Missing You artist also introduced him to a totally different set of stuff, Six specifically. He said, Six is so hot in the industry, man. There was always girls around. You'd open a door and see somebody doing it or several people in a room having an orgy. You never knew what was going to happen. Usher's statements have led many people to believe that Diddy exposed young artists to things they shouldn't have experienced at such a young age like Usher. This has sparked speculation about whether Justin might have faced similar situations or worse. There's concern because Justin drank alcohol at a very young age under Diddy's supervision. This raises questions about whether Diddy might have been involved in drugging people, which could lead to another lawsuit. People like Lil Rod and Cassie, who have filed lawsuits against Diddy, have also accused him of drugging people. Lil Rod accused Diddy of drugging him in February 2023 when he woke up unclothed, disoriented, and in bed with Diddy and two six workers. Another woman filed a lawsuit against Diddy, alleging that Diddy intentionally drugged her, leaving her unable to move. 
Given these pieces of evidence and lawsuits, it appears likely that there might have been some questionable activities involving Justin behind the scenes, and there could be more that hasn't come to light yet. Moreover, Usher has also exposed other famous artists like Biggie Smalls, Lil' Kim, Craig Mack, Faith Evans, and Mary J. Blige, who used to party with Diddy. It's not surprising that many other famous artists have faced troubles because of Diddy, including Biggie Smalls, whose death remains an unsolved murder case. Now, images have surfaced of the game standing with Justin Bieber and Diddy. This might cause trouble for the game as well because it could seem like he's supporting Diddy, or he could be seen as a possible witness to things that Justin can't explain himself. I believe the old clip has resurfaced again to uncover the truth and give Justin the opportunity to clarify and respond to the allegations. With Diddy already facing legal troubles, it wouldn't be surprising if Justin decides to sue him for his actions, especially since making an underage person drink alcohol is highly unacceptable and illegal. Additionally, the game is also facing trouble for being seen with Diddy engaging in such activities, which raises concerns about what else may have been happening. That wraps up today's video, everyone! We'd love to hear your thoughts on this whole situation, so feel free to drop a comment down below. Do you think Diddy will be arrested? Also, if you're interested in uncovering more stories, click right here to learn more about drama.